it's 7 30 already starting a little bit later than i have wanted going to be going up the devil's slide trail to Tarquitz peak so this is going to be a 12 mile hike with an elevation gain of about 3,200 feet, you will need to get a permit during the uh, holiday seasons from Memorial Day to Labor Day, especially on the weekends. Here's a pretty good view of the Tarquitz Rock, I believe. Kind of got to the backside of the hill, leveled off a little bit, and it's nicely shaded. Well, got to a little bit of an opening right here to give you a view of what the backside looks like. All right, continuing on, I just swallowed a fly or mosquito. I suspect if you do this trail early in the season, this might be a stream coming down here and you might get a pretty interesting waterfall. But right now it's all dry. Continuing on. Got here to another part where there is potentially a stream during the rainy seasons. Right, right now it's just damp. Might be a good waterfall during the heavy rains. All right. That's the waterfall or stream crossing continuing up. Still on the back side of the Devil's Slide Trail going up to Tarquitz Peak. Here is an opening with a very nice view to that outcrop and the valley below so i'm about a third of the way up That's an interesting formation over there. I suppose you can go over there and take a look. Just give you a view down to the bottom so I'm not going to climb down there 
and risk slipping. All right, arrived here at the Seto Junction. which is about halfway, two plus 2.2 miles. I think I have done about 6,000 plus steps so far and probably 1,500 feet of elevation gain. So literally halfway. That's the way to Taraquit's Peak. That's the way I came up from. And it has been pretty shady on this whole route so far, so I'm quite pleased. Just taking it easy, slow and steady. Continuing up to Taraquit's Peak. traversing the Seto Junction underneath a canopy of pine trees. No one else but just me listening to nature. I'll shut up and let you listen to the birds sing for a little bit. Hopefully the video will pick it up. It's a beautiful moss-covered tree trunk. Continuing up, it's gradual uphill all the way. Can't ask for a more perfect day to go hiking. There's like a cool breeze blowing up the mountain, nice and cool, even though the sun is shining, you can feel the cool breeze. Not sure what the temperature is, probably in the mid 60s, I guess. So on this side, on the Devil Slide Trail, I think there are only four other individuals going up this hill right now. As I met one of the ranger coming downhill, he was saying uh, there were four other people that he came across. Continuing up. Here's to a view below. And then just panning to the top of the peak, there's the fire lookout which I am heading to. Right there. It's 10 o'clock. I did more than 2,000 feet of elevation gain. More than 10,000 steps. About four miles, I think. So got here to a signpost on the other side. Not sure what it says.
Saddle Junction is where I came from. Uh, Quits Peak Lookout to the left. And then the Quits Valley to my right. So definitely not going downhill. So I'm continuing up to the fire lookout at Taquitz Peak. Continuing up to Taquitz Peak. That's where I was earlier taking a picture of the fire lookout. I think I was up on that rock. All right, continuing up. So this section of a trail is a little bit more treacherous since it's a steep drop off on one side. That's part of the reason why they need to limit how many people can come up at a time. This is straight down. Quite a while. If you go down the trail to the left, Saddle Junction, it's where I just came back, came up from. Over there was where I took a picture of the fire lookout earlier. And this way, I assume is continuing up to the fire lookout. I think it's the final stretch. Make it up to the far lookout. There's another couple right here. Over there. Yeah. 
Here's a view going around the outside of the fire lookout. Awesome view. Lake Hammett directly in front. Back to the entrance. And here is a view of inside the fire lookout. And our lookout hose. <laughs> Volunteer. There's the Taquits Fire Lookout at Taquits Peak with a panoramic view of Idlewild and Pine Cove below. So instead of going back down the same way, I am going to go down South Ridge Trail and then cut across to the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Route, uh, which will require me to make another 700 feet of elevation climb back to Humber Park. So uh, that's where I will have to expand a little bit of energy at the very last stretch of the hike but I think it's all downhill from here. Okay, time to head back down. I'm gonna go down the South Ridge Trail to complete the loop. Hi. actually get a pretty nice uh, panoramic view going down the South Ridge Trail. Continuing down the South Ridge Trail, which is a bit more exposed, but it's all downhill from here. And then I still get a bit of a breeze coming up from the valley. It's still very pleasant, probably in the low 70s right now. And uh, I mean, I have hardly broken a sweat. Continuing down. I don't know the grade, but the downhill is a bit more steep on the South Ridge Trail than the Devil Slide Trail. But you get a panoramic view as you go down, albeit a bit more exposed.
You're just making sure you don't slip on the uh, soft sand. Still on the South Ridge Trail heading down, descended to uh, the point where I am just below the tree line. So starting to get some shade from the midday sun. It's about noon time right now, but I got a nice canopy above me. Continuing on to head down. Taking a little detour to check out this view. As you can hear, there's a pretty strong breeze coming up the mountain. All right, gonna continue down the South Ridge Trail. Emerging from the South Ridge Trail, this is the trailhead. If you have a four-wheel drive, you can park up here, or you can make it up here. I have about an other mile to walk down, walk all the way back down to the uh, main road. Just uh, going down this forest road. Up at the top it's dirt, but here you have a paved uh, road. It's very steep though. I think this gives you a good idea where I was. Right now I'm down here at the bottom of the trail. I was at the top of that peak right there. Oh, that's a good climb. Okay, made it down to the road. Just a few more steps. So came down the South Ridge Trail. That was a couple of miles. This is the Tarquits View Drive, I believe. So I'm gonna head this way for a little bit and it should connect me back to the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Trail. And from there I can get back up to Humble Park. Okay, made it back to civilization. Here's the start of the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Trail. I 
I think it should be shaded. It's going to be a two and a half mile, seven to 800 feet climb. Off I go. Okay, that's it. End of the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Trail. Not particularly scenic. It was just under a canopy of pine trees in some areas. So emerging back onto the trailhead. I did.